Top Squarespace Tips and Tricks 2023, rank your website. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great, helpful and informational video. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing how you can basically bring your website into the higher rankings of the internet. Now, basically, this is a Squarespace tutorial, so obviously I'm gonna tell you all the things related to Squarespace. Now, the first tip is obviously choosing your best keyword. Now, you're probably wondering what a keyword is. So a keyword is basically, you could say, the middle part of uh, the search. So it, it's like a word that people are going to write and like regardless of the tail they use. So let's say your website is about gym, okay? So people are going to write the best calisthenics gym near me. So the best and near me are just tails. Calisthenics gym is a keyword. So let's say if they write calisthenics gyms and your website keyword is calisthenics gyms, then trust me, your website is going to come up pretty quickly. And obviously you're going to have to see which keywords are used most. Like you could just use some SEO tool to find out which keywords are more really used and uh, obviously accordingly choose a good keyword like the tails don't matter but a good keyword always matters now the second tip is to target long tail keywords so obviously this is also another example for that the best calisthenics gym near me so the best as i said is a tail and near me is also a tail so these are also long tails and you have to target these as well to like end up on the higher rankings and to end up on like the top pages of Google. Now, the third tip is understand domain authority and page authority. So basically, you also have to understand the whole domain authority using Squarespace and all the, the page authority. And uh, for that, you have to like configure it with your SEO and your domain people, your business email, you know, stuff like that. Configure it out with them and uh, understand them. Once you fully understand them, trust me, coming to the top rankings is going to be cake for you. Now, the fourth tip is to basically use keyword synonyms. Now, obviously, you're wondering what keyword synonyms are. Let me show you right away. Keyword synonyms are, you could say, basically the same keyword, but different meanings. So, you know, if there's a, a keyword password, you have watchword, keyword, you know, stuff like that. And just like the keyword is privacy, but the synonym could be secrecy, confidentiality, solitude, isolation. Like use synonyms for keywords, like because it's not necessary. A person will search one thing, okay? He wants to search privacy and your keyword is privacy, but he searches confidentiality instead. So you do need to make sure that you use synonyms. And trust me, it's pretty simple to generate synonyms. Just go on any like keyword synonym generator and just like put in your keyword and then generate synonyms. Pretty basic and easy stuff. Now, the fifth tip is to expand your site tile. Your site tile is basically the main upper tile and uh, make sure to expand it, make it better, make it bigger, make it nicer, make it more presentable. And yeah, that just makes your site look much better. Make sure to add a site description like, you know, all these descriptions that you can see in the Squarespace homepage site. As you can see, people read this and they get attracted to it. So, like, there's good things to have. So, yeah, just make sure to have good descriptions because it just makes your site more overpowering and better. Create a custom URL. Don't use a free URL because, obviously, when, when someone sees a URL called johnsworkshop.squarespace.co.uk.com. They're not going to click on it because they're like, okay, this doesn't seem like the most professional website. People are going to go with a URL like uh, johnsworkshop.com or electricworkshop.com or gymclasses.com or thebestgym.com. You know, they're going to go with something with, that ends with .com or maybe, you know, .so or something like that. Nothing that ends with .squarespace.com because people are going to be like, okay, this doesn't look very experienced or professional. Now, the basic eighth tip is change your default social sharing image. So basically, you're going to have a sharing image on each website, which is going to be your default. You need to change that as well. Tip number nine is update your 404 page. Now your 404 page is an error page. 
that people are going to get if they like write the wrong URL or something related to your page. So make sure to have a nice, you know, good looking 404 page that makes your page look much more nicer, much more acceptable. Tip number 10 is make sure the SSL is enabled. If you don't know what SSL is, SSL is basically a security socket layer and make sure it's enabled to like have good security on your website. Tip number 11 is register your site with Google Search Console. Now this is a crucial tip. Why? Because Google Search Console is what enables all your website and your keywords to be displayed. Now, Google Search Console tools, Search Console tools and reports help you measure your site's search traffic and performance and make your site shine in Google Search results. So make sure your site is on the Google Search Console. Submit. Tip number 12 would be submit a sitemap to Google Webmaster Tools. So give them a good sitemap to, you know, appear more on the keywords, you could say. Tip number uh, 13 is troubleshooting individual page SEO problems. Tip number 14 would be create a Google My Business page. Now, this is also a crucial one. Google Business Page. Now, why this is pretty crucial is because the Google Business Profile, Google Business Page allows you to, you know, be discovered by other people more often, more frequently, you could say. And uh, it's a pretty good way to, you know, get recognized more easier, more nicer. Now, tip number 15 is create great titles. Select a keyword, write in second person, like write as a second person. Use power words like, you know, let me give you an example what a power word is. So power words for your SEOs could be, you know, immediately, fervent, sharp, renewed, shining, instantly, invigorated, responsive. So these are power words. So let's say immediately, okay? So immediately join gym classes or immediately join up. So these are power words that you need to use. Also use odd and prime numbers because those are what people are most likely to search. Use parentheses and brackets to make your, you know, work look more organized, more nicer, to make you look more professional. Tip number 16 would be create and uh, basically test your custom title or your tile that you create for your website. Because obviously you have to see it from the third person perspective. You have to see how other people are going to see your website. So that is also a great way to end up on top. Now, basically what's going to happen is uh, after uh, all that, you're obviously going to go for uh, the tip number 17, which is SEO title default page menu. Now, the title default page menu, obviously, you uh, can go with a different SEO title, like you have a default page, everything to sell anything. So this is your default title menu. And yeah, like these are all the great tips that you can use to end up on the top of the rankings when it comes to Google. So, uh, yeah, those are all the tips. If they were helpful to you, please drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.